All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All the Mod 7 with your buddy here, Super Turtle. Guys, today we have some fun stuff planned. We're going to be building in here today. Oh, yeah. So yeah, this is going to be our new room here. As you can tell from the title, we're gonna be putting some mob spawners in here. Uh, I do have quite a few of the mob spawners gathered up, so it is very cool. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So these are the ones, uh, except two, um, that we're gonna have, but we have a spider spawner, wither skeleton spawner, zombie spawner, skeleton spawner, creeper spawner, and an enderman spawner. If you're wondering how I got these, silk touch mines spawners. And then if you just hit up a roguelike dungeon, they've got them everywhere. I highly recommend if you're starting this pack off, you check out a roguelike dungeon. I'll show you what they look like. You might have seen them around if you've been playing the pack, but they typically look like these little stone buildings over here. Um, this one's out of granite. Sometimes they're out of different materials, but yeah, they look like this. Go raid that. It's a lot of fun. Really good early game. Gets you a lot of loot, uh, and then you get spawner stupid. Make sure you hit them with silk touch. Otherwise, you just get the shards, which isn't that fun. But anyway, <clears throat> so the two spawners that we need to get are a blaze spawner and a zombified piglin spawner. The reason why we want this is because these guys drop gold, and we want automated gold. And so this is how we do it. So. We need to get a gold sword, rotten flesh, and then these zombie hearts. Now, the zombie hearts are actually pretty easy to get. However, um, they drop from zombies and, you know, uh, pigmen. So what we need to do is set up the zombie spawner first, get that working, and then uh, after that we can go and get a blaze spawner from the nether, and then we can also set up this uh, zombified piglin spawn egg, and we can swap out the spawn egg with one of these other spawners that I have. I got a couple other... Um, you know, I probably just swap it out with a stray because I'm never going to use a stray spawner. Um, but yeah, so we'll go ahead and do knock that out. So, um, what we need to do to make the zombie spawner is we're going to need one of these guys. Um, now this is a mob masher and it's really cool. Um, so it's a, I'll just read you what it says. Advanced modular mob grinder can be enhanced with mob masher upgrades. Mob mashed do... Mobs mash do count as player kills. So this will give us experience. This will give us all the stuff. We could put uh, sharpness on it up to 10. We can put uh, smite on it up to 10, looting on it up to 10, and then beheading. So this is going to be great for the wither skeleton spawner that I have uh, because that means we can get a lot of wither skeleton skulls. That's right here, the wither skeleton spawner. So uh, yeah, the ones I'm excited most about are the blaze, the wither skeleton spawner, and the creeper, and the, like all of them pretty much because the zombie one, we can now make a lot of leather with zombies. I don't know if you guys know that. With uh, rotten flesh, you can make leather. So yeah, it's flipping amazing. Yeah, just sticking in a, a drying rack here, and boom, leather. So very important. I don't know if I already did that, but let's get this far departed. Um, now we're probably gonna have one of these set up for every um, single one of the mob masher things. Uh, so that'll be you know kind of kind of bop him. Uh, we could actually just use those spikes, but they're not nearly as cool. So let's do this. We need a redstone block. All right. So mob masher, check this thing out. It looks super duper cool. It's like, holy heck. Uh, and then all you do is power it with redstone. Uh, so we'll just do a lever. Wow. What a great placement for that. Oh, did my backpack really get that? It did. I didn't know those got that when they were on the ground. But yeah, so it looks like. Yeah, it does a little bit of damage. But as you can see, only one heart of damage, so just not quite enough for what we want. Um, so that's why we need to put these upgrades in. Now, because this is going to be a zombie one, uh, priority would oops, priority would be a smite. Um, so we, oh, we only got one. Do I have any gold left whatsoever? Um, I do. Cool. So we can make a little bit of these. Yeah, now we're out of rotten flesh, which is why we're making it. So this will now uh, hurt zombies more than it normally would. Uh, and then eventually we want to upgrade the looting too, but, oh, we actually can do that right now. Okay, that's sharpness. We need looting. How many of these? 13. One, two, three. Perfect. So we can have looting 10. So this should do us really good. Okay, so now that we have these guys, this is going to be what we'll use for a little bit. Again, we need gold. We need more of that. So we'll just rely on these guys for a little bit. Nothing too crazy. But we need a way to move the mobs. So we're going to use some of these. Uh, I'm going to get two stacks. And then that will move it to where we want. We'll drop them onto this, and then they'll go kaput. 
So yeah. Um, also, also, if we look here at the spawner, um, sugar gives us a minus 10, 10 minimum spawn delay. So it helps it like spawn faster, which is what we want. So let's go ahead and get this farty parted. All right, so I think we're gonna do this one over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock this back. Um, we're gonna have three on this side, three on this side, two over here. So yeah, should look pretty cool. Uh, so let's let's uh, do it. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking here. You know, something super simple. Uh, eventually we will knock this out and we'll have a full like uh, uh, tinted glass wall here. Uh, so we'll be able to see the, the, the zombies and all of that. But yeah, this is where we're gonna put the zombie spawner. And so now, um, we're going to put all of the, oops, not that way, oh, not that way either. We put these all like this. Yes. Okay. So these all go like that. Oh, you can walk around on these if you shift. Very cool. That is very convenient. Otherwise that would be very tricky to place. I just do this. Oh, I can. Okay, so those are placed pretty good. I think we're gonna leave that solid blocks all the way through. Okay, so we do have a couple of things I wanna add to our zombie spawner here. If we hit uses, we can see um, that a fermented spider eye increases the spawn count so more zombies will spawn. And then if we uh, add in the sugar, they have uh, fewer, uh, it, it, they spawn quicker. Um, there's less time in between uh, spawns. So we're gonna go ahead and implement those. I think we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. Um, yeah, what could go wrong? Just a couple zombies, you know? So I need to grab a block of something to, uh, we're just gonna block it here. I'm not really too worried about the baby zombies. Maybe I should be, maybe I'll come back and get it. Um, but yeah, let's, oh, it's gonna send us over. Okay, so we should be okay. Um, yeah, they shouldn't start spawning in, but we can, Oh wait, do we have to? I think I can't shift click this in. Yeah. Um, so I say minimum spawn delay. Let's do 60, we'll leave it there. Oh, I need the fermented spider eyes. And then spawn count is two, three, four, now five. Max amenities is six. So, um, okay, I can grab that. We're gonna do this. And I'm gonna do the teleport slash home. Like this. <laughs> uh, that way we don't die. And then we take our lever lever. And we should be able to activate it. Should have some zombirds here. Perfect. Let's put in the looting and the mob basher. Yes. Um, we got carrots. Oh, gotta be careful. But yeah, now all we gotta do is just uh, hurry up and wait. Seems to kill them pretty quick too. Oh, we got a pickaxe. What did we get? Soulbound. Nice. Ooh, and we already got some zombie hearts. Amazing. So I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit. We'll collect this up and don't worry, we'll have a collection system here. Um, even got more. We'll have a collection system here that will, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. We're getting a lot of these. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Is that another one? This, the looting is, oh my gosh, we have enough to get it. Let, oh, I'm not, I'm not going away. We're staying here. Um, all you need to do is make a gold sword. Um, okay. So I'm going to double this, uh, with a hammer. Yep, we can do that, perfect. Go like this, we get raw gold, then we get two gold dust. Oh, I should have fortuned that. I might've gotten more, I feel silly. No worries. But let's smelt these two bad boys up and then we can make the sword and then we can make, oh, just one of these. Okay, so we do need two. So, hmm, I might have some gold over here. This is the whole, yes, let's go. This is the whole reason we're doing this today is because I am dangerously low on gold. Okay, so gold sword. Make two of them. 
a one, a two, and then we go like this, and yes. Okay, so we have one of the zombified Piglin Charm fragments. Let's wave hello. All right. And now we're back here. Now I just gotta wait for those to, to start popping, you know? We already got one of them. Two of them. Three of them. This isn't gonna be long at all. Four of them. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Okay. So we have the. We have a lot of. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something about all these items. Good thing is it's not like. Um, Plied Energistics, where they would take up a, an item slot. Um, don't at me. But yeah, here we go. So we have this guy now. And so that means we have a zombified piglin spawn egg, which is amazing. Captured. I didn't capture him, but I crafted him. Can you get out of the way? Thanks. Um, so let's see. If we grab... Where's the stray? The stray is here. So if we do this, we place it down. And then we put the zombified piglin. Yes, this did update. Let's make sure we use the silk touch pickaxe. Zombified piglin spawner. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Very cool. Now we can make a lot of leather with that too, which is going to be sweet. We'll need to worry about, you know, setting up all of the, the other stuff as well. Um, but yeah, we we need to make some more looting. Again, we're going to have to wait a little bit. Let's make another one of these. Okay, got the next mob masher. We need to make a couple more of these guys. I just think another stack would be good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set up the zombified piglin spawner right next to the zombie spawner. And we'll be back after that area is cleared out and it's good to go. Okay, so we have this whole area set up. Now I need to go ahead and add these guys in as well. We'll put these here. Um, I'm not as worried about the zombified piglins as the zombies because they won't attack me if I don't attack them, you know? So that's good. Um, yeah, let's just set this up. Okay. So that is all good to go. We can place the spawner in, and I forgot the sugar. Whoops. Let's grab the sugar. Okay, that just helps the minimum spawn delay. I don't have any more spider eyes, so that will have to do for a bit uh, until we can get some more. So let's get this guy put here, and then... Hmm. Yeah, that's not going to be too good. I got to uh, get that fixed pretty quick. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's not going very well or anywhere close to my plan. But, uh, yeah, let's get a lever. We'll just turn it on, maybe. No, they... They don't want me to turn it on. Oh, bye. Okay, well. That works. I didn't realize it would work that well, but they're mad at the mob masher. They're literally mad at the mob masher. This is great news. Uh, I think I'm going to do this. Maybe three. Still pretty lit in there. <laughs> Not in the cool way. Let's see, what is going on? Why is it so lit up? Oh, I wonder if it's... Oh, probably is. I have a feral lamp up top. I need to find it so that I can break it. Oh, wow, we're getting diamond helmets. Very cool. But we're also getting gold nuggets, which means we can increase looting. Okay, so let's see if we can get the the looting guy. Okay, we can add up to three. Whoop, whoop, there we go. Um, shebang. We got six now. Cool, we're getting a lot of experience. Yeah, we need to find, get a trash can to kind of break those up. Now we can go back home here. And do, 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 looting. Perfect, so now we can max that guy out for looting there. So now whenever they drop, they give us the goods, all of the goods. 
Should a bit of stuff over here too. Yeah. Nice. Lots, lots of gold. So the gold, gold is kind of automated here. Uh, not fully. Uh, but now we need to go to the Nether and get ourselves a blaze spawner. Rid of all of that. All of that. Cool. All right. I'm gonna go to the Nether and we'll get ourselves a blaze spawner. Yeah, buddy. Okay, we got a spawn or a fortress, sorry, not too far away from our base. Um, but I'll just go ahead and check it out. Um, okay, that looks like a spawner, but it looks like someone might be trying to use that. So I don't know if we can use Ooh. that spawner, which is a little unfortunate, but we can always Ooh. find another one. Yeah, it looks like someone's using it. Okay, we'll definitely look for a different one. I think we're coming to a dead end here. Yeah, that guy could see me. Frick. Let's just leave it. Okay, yeah, back to the path. Okay, here we go. We got a blaze spawner here. No, we don't. It's gone. Okay. Let's go. That's pretty good loot. Let's go. That's pretty good loot. Oh, my. Of iron backpack, sturdy case. Let's go grab those boots real quick. I have like pretty much a new set of armor except for the helmet. Spawner agitator. Place on the spawner child prevent the spawn entity from despawning when the player leaves the area. Additionally, the spawner will keep spawning while the player is not in the area. Mob farm anyone? Oh wow. Um that is really powerful. And then I think it'd be a good idea to grab some of these. Mr. Blaze. Hmm, we might be fresh out of luck on spawners for blazes. Might have to go to a different one. Got him. Yeah, I think we are fresh out of blaze spawners on this one. Okay, looks like we gotta find another one. All right, we got our second fortress here. Um, this is one I found a while ago. So hopefully no one has killed the blaze spawners in here because I know we got one right there. And the rubber banding could stop at any time if it chose. Should be great. Okay, so we got at least one. This is good. Oh, someone's claimed this area. Oh, shoot. Well, both of my spawners are gone then. Okay. Okay. 
Oh my goodness, we just got... No, we didn't get it with a skeleton skull. I thought we did. Got a fragment. Okay, we got our third fortress here. Hopefully no one's claimed any chunks over here. Oh, geez. Hi. Oh, I'm getting pinched. We are going to run. There's no need for us to fight those guys. Hi. We're looking for a blaze spawner, and then we are out of here. Here, blaze. Oh, got a few of those guys. Oh my gosh, that's a wither skeleton skull. Let's go, dude. Oh, ow. You're evil. Okay. Um, this one seems to be a pretty big one, so we should be able to hopefully find a wither skeleton skull. Theoretically. Yes, okay. We got one. Doesn't seem to be claimed. Thank goodness. Yes, our quest is over. Oh, we did it. What do we not need here? Um, Source gem. Cool. All right, we're back home. So now we have a blaze of spawner. Very good. Ooh, is it a blood moon? Or a harvest moon? I don't know. There's some weird sound going on. Typically, that's what it means. Okay. So, let's... Yeah, let's just get all this out of our inventory. Got what we came... We got what we went there for. Freezing minigun ammo. Blaze spawner in the bag. It means we can get blaze rods paired up with the enderman spawner. This is going to be great. Um, so, yeah. We need some more of these guys, which is good. Um, we might, nope, we're go doing good on slime. Okay, so we need to make another mob masher, which is a no problemo. One, two, three. Make a bunch of swords. Okay, and then a redstone block. Make some of those. And we need some spikes. You know, I'm going to make a couple of these. All right, yeah, we got everything we need for this guy. Let's also uh, get this going. Oh, that's upside down. All right, time to clear out the space for the blaze spawner. I think it's going to go right next to the zombified piglin spawner. Yeah, it's blood moon. Yes, yeah, so these have been doing good. Uh, we're going to do absorption hoppers uh, right on top here, uh, and then we'll go off into some storage drawers with void upgrades. So I'm going to clear out this area, and we'll be back once it's ready to go. All right, so the room is completed. I've got that all set up here. The blaze won't be able to get out. We probably will need to put some glass here or something like that because they probably shoot up at us and you know travel up. But that is okay. So let's go ahead here, and we're just going to place these guys in. Um, bam, bam. I don't know why I do this alternating. It just, it's aesthetically pleasing, okay? Just let it be. And then I need to find that uh, feral lamp because it is doing one over there as well. As you can tell, the zombie uh, piglins are having a, a ball over there. All right, perfect. So that is set up. Very good. Okay. So here we're just going to, I'm going to break the torches. As you can see, yeah, there's still a bunch of light. That's no good. But we should be able to place this and hit slash home. 
And then let's see if we can find it. Um, so that's going to be about over here somewhere. Hmm, I really need to repair my... We'll, we'll just we'll just do some terraforming. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a lot to do. Okay, so to make rose gold, uh, we just need copper and gold, which is pretty simple for us to make now because we do have the pig lens. Okay. So let's let's do it. Um, yeah, we'll break this guy because we don't want that going. We don't want that guy going either. This guy's already got gold in it. Bye, gold. Okay, there we go. Got the rose gold. Okay, we can put this guy back. Yep, and he's going to be going up. I don't actually think this does anything. <gasps> Wait, it actually does. Very cool. I like that. You can turn it off. This one doesn't want to. But we got the rose gold to repair our Maddock. Why? Okay. Let's go ham and find this guy. Okay, so I need to find the about coordinates for it real quick. Um, so it's probably over here. So the X coordinates about 645. Anyway, I know how to get up and out, up and down. That's a little inconvenient. So like right, right in here somewhere. Okay, so it's either, where is it? This one, which pretty high probability, or this one. So we're going to get rid of both of them. Okay, so hopefully those will resolve our issue. Now I need to go terraform all of that back and make it look good. So I will be doing that for the next couple of minutes. Uh, and so I'll get back to you guys here in just a second. All right, so now we're going to work on the Enderman one. I've already got the Mob Master and the area cleared out, but they're a little bit different here. Uh, we need to make a Ender inhibitor. Um, this will prevent them from teleporting on us, and we do have a, some blaze rods now, so we can go ahead and make the Eye of Ender, which is great. And then we can go here, bam. Okay, so this will, yeah, stop them from teleporting when they take damage, uh, which is uh, pretty vital for what we've got going on. And where's our Enderman guy? Here he is. Perfect. Okay, so I think the two at the end of our little hallway are going to be our Wither Skeletons and our Enderman because they're kind of the uh, end tier. And they're also three blocks tall, uh, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, so this is where we're going with this. You know, same same exact room, um, but this is where we're going the Mob Masher. Perfect. Uh, we don't have to worry about this. We can get through it. Uh, but we do have to worry about this. So, and then if we don't look at the Enderman, they won't be so angry, which is a sweet. But we're going to put this guy um, probably right here because this should reach over here. Does it give us a range? I don't know, but we want it so that when they hit the ground or because they might spawn a little high and take damage, we don't want them to teleport. And then when they also start taking damage here, we don't want them to teleport. I do believe this is close enough. Uh, if not, we can always adjust it, uh, maybe move it somewhere else, but we should be good to go. So now we place in these guys here. Let's go ahead and just get rid of all of that. And uh, by the way, finding the... Um, wait, why are we... Lit? Oh, finding the 
That feral lamp did cause this to go dark in here, so we are good to go there. Let's grab those items. Ouch. Yeah, we got, ooh, raw fire shard. Shard, what are these even used for? Fire gem. Ooh, we can make some cool stuff. I've never gotten into any of the elemental craft, but maybe, maybe we could try it after this. That'd be cool. Okay, so yep, this has to be three tall so that they fall into it. Bam, very cool. Enderman spawner. Bam, here we go. Okay, sweet. So yeah, we can block this off so we can't see into there. And we can do this. All we get to do is flip the switch. get a couple of these because we keep coming back for them okay and then okay, are they gonna teleport oh. okay yeah we definitely need to add sharpness to this why did he have a bow how does an enderman have a bow riddle me that batman how does an enderman have a bow Okay. Yeah, we definitely need to make it sharper or add sharpness to it, but it is working. We've got ender pearls. So that is amazing. Um, okay, so let's get all of this out of my inventory. Cool. Um, now let's move on to the Wither Skeleton. Um, yeah, Wither Skeleton. Okay, we need another Mob Masher. What all do we need? Okay, so we're going to need three of these guys. One, two, three. I think I'm just going to go around and clear out the remaining storage, or not the remaining storage, but the remaining um, spawner rooms. And I'll come back after that because I, I keep cutting and doing that. We, we I'm, I'm going to add all of these in today. So might as well just knock them out and I'll finish up with you guys. All right. So I do have everything kind of finished over here. The only thing is that we're going to, it's going to be a little different because I was going to put spiders into one of these. Uh, however, spiders are you know, one by or two by two mobs. They're not the one by one uh, taller mobs. So we are going to have to do something a little bit different there. Um, but this will be our wither skeleton one that we can set up right meow. Uh, wither skeleton is here. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So these guys shouldn't be able to get out whatsoever. Let's beat them out. Oh, they got me. <laughs> hey, hit me. That didn't go that good. Um, we can just attack these guys now and, you know, you can do looting, beheading, all that there and we'll block this off, but these guys can't escape. We're going to put the, the tinted glass through here, uh, probably going all the way up similar to that height, but with these beams in the middle. Uh, so it should look really cool. And I thought that was a wither skeleton skull for a second. Okay. So yeah, um, that's working good. Let's see here. We're going to set up the creeper one as well. We will do this so the creepers can't get out. Um, yeah. Okay, creepers. Whew, got it. <laughs> that was a little worrisome. <laughs> yeah, and so then we'll, we'll also have this, uh, these two blocks on each of them uh, be transparent. Um, and then we'll do the skeletons here as well. I know we're getting bones with wither skeletons, but I do want to have a specific um, like bones and stuff like that for these guys. Cool. So those are in. And then, yeah, we're going to have to wait for cave spiders. Uh, this will work the exact same, though we might need to do something a little bit different. Uh, it's not quite done, but we are going to 
I'm gonna try to find some stuff to do, which will be sweet. Um, yeah, but that's been working. These guys are all working. I just need some lever. I forgot the levers. Oh my gosh, I forgot the levers. How crazy! Uh, I was planning on um, decorating the room, but it. I don't think we have the time in the video for that. It's taken quite a while. And this one's not done yet. We need more. We need one more diamond to complete that. Um, but yeah, now we have some good, uh, a good experience farm. Um, yeah, we, you know, we can just sit here, get experience, get gunpowder, all that. Eventually, we will do one of those spawner agitators. Uh, let's see how expensive they were. We have four of them. Um, the recipe: compressed iron ingot and a gas tier. How do you make the compressed iron ingot again? Um, <clears throat> okay. So pneumatic craft, huh? Okay. Well, I, I've always wanted to get into pneumatic craft and I believe that we have the ability to, so we might try that, but how much? We have a bit already. Um, hmm. We might see about switching all those over because they would continue to run. But we're not going to do that without having a proper storage system set up. So uh, if we look here, which one is this from? Functional storage. So I know there's a glitch or a bug right now where you, if you remove an upgrade, it does cause it to crash. So we are going to be very careful. But the big thing we want is the void upgrades. So once we have these void upgrades in the drawers, we'll be able to let this go no problem. Um, so yeah, storage controller, void upgrade. And then I think we will do the warped drawers because these guys are going to look so cool uh, in there because we are using a um, like a, a deep slate kind of build in there. Um, it's going to be very dark in there. So don't you worry. Okay, so let's see. What do we need for the storage? Um, yeah, pretty simple, honestly. Nothing too crazy. Okay, so we should be able to make up a storage drawer. Oh, need a comparator. Need some redstone. Are we out of redstone? Just about. I need to go mining a bit more. Get some more redstone, get some more materials. Um, but let's make up some of these guys. Okay. So we have that. Let's make a vacuum. Or I think it's an absorption hopper. Yeah, so we just need this guy. They can make the eye of Ender, no problemo. Perfect, okay. And do I have any drawers left over so we can test it? I do, okay. We've got one. That's not the best thing in the world. Yeah, we need to, I definitely need to go get some good wood for that. Um, but let's see here. Who is this one? Zombies. I don't really need that. The one I want to test this out. Oh, I forgot the spawner thing. Oh, we need to make a, a void. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Let's do just kind of a temporary solution for this guy. We'll do. Okay, so this should stop running for just a couple of seconds here. Um, this. Yep. Okay, and I'm gonna do storage controller with a hopper on top, and then down will be items. And then if we go like this, we should be good. And now, if we put the lever here, that should reactivate. If I do this, It's a drawer to a controller. Okay, so we need one of these guys. Okay, let's try this out. We gotta make them. Sorry, learning as we go. I thought it was a lot more simple than that. My bad. 
What does this do? Configuration tool. Oh, locking. Okay. So we need some pepper. We are out. I used all the sugar cane. Shoot. Okay, we got enough paper. I'm also gonna make a, um, what's it called? A farm off camera. Okay, so let's let's do this. Let's go check it out. Oh, a little bit of lag. All right, so let's see about. <laughs> There we go. Okay, that seems to be working pretty good. Um, yeah, we definitely don't need that much storage, but that's okay. And yeah. So those are getting pulled out. <laughs> Okay, and then, okay, yeah, so those are good there. Um, like, these are terrible. What is that? Shield. Yeah, so we need to find a way to dump all of the bad stuff. Um, got some diamonds that we can get. We throw these into a smelter. Yeah, we might we might see about setting that up. Um, we have a trash can. We do have a trash can. Okay, so we can set up a filter. It might need to be a little bit different than this setup. Might need to go into a chest or something like that, and then splits off into it. But yeah, um, we have gold automated. Look at that. We already got a bunch of gold ingots here. I just need to go AFK for a bit. We'll also do something about the experience. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching today's episode. We set up quite a few different mob farms here. I hope you guys got inspired. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, check you out in the next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.